Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Big Nate here with Nate's Tech Update. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys what the new iCloud website looks like that Apple has just opened up to developers here. So let's go ahead and take a look at these applications so you can get an idea of what they will look like when they arrive this fall. So the first one is Mail. On the left hand side, you've got your inbox. And then in the middle, you've got all your messages. And then you've got a blown up area of what the message would look like here on the right looking very similar to the way it does in uh, the old mobile me application as well as the same way as it does on the uh, iPad we've got contacts here looking very similar to the lion application if we want to go ahead and just add a contact here we've got all the info that you could enter on an iOS device um, with calendar here looking very similar to the lion application you've got your calendar blown up here in the middle and then you've got your different calendars here on the left hand side which you can view in different views Next is Find My iPhone. Currently, this does not appear to be working with the iCloud website. It's trying to redirect me to the old Mobile Me website to use this feature. So it'll probably look pretty similar to the way it did on Mobile Me, but it has not been enabled yet at this point. And last but not least is iWork. This is going to be really great for any of you who have the iWork applications for your iDevice because it'll um, instantly bring those documents up to the cloud so you can access them wherever you are. Uh, and it'll work with all the applications, so Keynote, Pages, as well as Numbers. And uh, as you can see, my name is listed up here at the top, and it brings up an iOS kind of window box here where you can view details about your account, as well as sign out. So I'm going to go ahead and sign out, and you can see what the login page looks like here, and you can see it is in the beta stages. In addition, Apple has also announced the pricing points for iCloud, and you'll see here that 5 gigabytes is free for all users who are using iCloud, but you can purchase additional data if you need it. So for 10 gigabytes, you'll get $20. Uh, for $20, you'll get an additional 10 gigabytes. For $40, you'll get an additional 20 gigabytes. And for $100, you'll get an additional 50 gigabytes. So that has been an, an inside look at the new web applications found in iCloud, which you'll get be able to see this fall. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Please like it and subscribe. And as always, have a nice day.